Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So another day and yet another Windows 11 24H2 update issue. And this time, just to let you know and give you a heads up about two issues now that have come to light. The first for Dell PCs and the second for Asus PCs. And first of all, starting with Dell, apparently there are reports from owners of Dell PCs that some of them can't shut down their devices or the device in some occasions can't boot up or the device can't go into sleep mode after installing the annual 24H2 update. Now, although this is the case, um, the good news is that Dell has confirmed and acknowledged the problem. Now, the strange thing is that Microsoft didn't block Windows 11 24H2 on affected devices. But if we head over to the support article for this issue, um, the issue is because of Dell encryption version 11.9 or earlier, when it's installed on 24H2, the computer may no longer boot. That's according to Dell. But this article was last modified on the 27th of August, 2024. So 24H2 only rolled out to the general public starting on the 1st of October. So this could have been a problem mainly affecting insiders who were testing 24H2 before it rolled out to the general public. But nonetheless, just a quick heads up, um, like we like to do on the channel, just in case. Now, as mentioned, here's the problem. The course, Dell Encryption version 11.9 and Dell says should not be installed to those computers, okay? But here is the resolution, is to get your hands on Dell Encryption version 11.10, which apparently works with 24H2, and Dell says will be released in September 2024. So this should have rolled out to devices a long time ago. But as mentioned, just a quick heads up, just in case. So according to Dell, version 11.10 and later works, and they have rolled this out through the update channels. And just in case, here's an article, a link to an article, how to download the Dell Encryption Enterprise or Dell Encryption Personal Recovery Bundle. And I'll leave the support post down below in the description if you'd like to get your hands on some of these links to find out or if you just want some more info. So that's the first issue, which I think by now should have been fixed because that patch rolled out in September. Now, the second is regarding Asus uh, PCs. And the problem with this is that Dolby audio decoders, or the lack of, um, are causing sound problems where there's no sound on some Asus devices. Now, for this, if we head over to the Asus support website for this issue, here's the problem. Asus says that according to Microsoft, versions of Windows prior to Windows 11 24H2 include Dolby Audio Decoders. However, starting from Windows 11 24H2, Dolby Audio Decoders will no longer be pre-installed in Windows. So that's what's causing the issue. And, and for some users, no sound and other little issues with um, audio on some Asus devices. So just a quick heads up once again. Now just take note. Asus says, if you upgrade from an earlier version of Windows to Windows 11 version 24H2, the existing Dolby audio decoders will be retained. So this is really, at the end of the day, only affecting um, clean installations as an example. Now, Asus does say they will provide um, the relevant Dolby audio decoders um, on machines to obviously counter this problem. And here's where they say, for products that support Dolby audio, the factory installed drivers will still include Dolby audio decoders, ensuring your experience you experience complete Dolby audio functionality. So that should also be resolved by now. But nonetheless, just a quick heads up. And if you want more info, I'll leave this article down below as well. So unfortunately, a couple of um, extra problems there, so to speak. Another day, yet another Windows 11 24H2 issue. And if you want my personal recommendation, and I get asked this quite a lot on the channel, should I install 24H2? I'm just going to say no. Don't install it now. I would wait at least until a month or two into next year, 2025, before I would install or update to 24H2. Um, I did it for the purpose of this channel, so I can obviously make videos because that's what this channel is all about. But I would recommend that you delay the update for a later date, if possible, due to all these issues. And 23H2, to some extent or the other, 
for your average home user has more or less got the exact same features as 24H2 to some degree or the other. So you are not missing much. So that's my take on it if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.